Mediterranean ecoregions to support biodiversity. One of the phenomena supporting life in the biome is biodiversity. Contributing to the largest hub on Earth, Mediterranean-type ecosystems are playing a vital role in conserving the ecoregion. This is Earthy Perks, bringing in distinctive features of MTE to see how it supports life. Mediterranean-type ecosystems, MTEs, with their characteristic and unique climate regimes of mild, wet winters and warm and dry summers occur in just five regions of the world. California, Central Chile, the Mediterranean Basin, the Cape Region of South Africa, in southwestern and South Australia, the world's five Mediterranean climate regions are home to remarkable and globally significant levels of plant diversity and endemism. That has led all five regions to be designated as biodiversity hotspots. Although these regions cover only slightly more than 2% of the world's land areas, the combined vascular plant flora of the five regions comprises approximately 20% of all the plant species in the world. Home to over 250 million people, the five regions where these ecosystems are found have climate and coastal conditions that make them highly desirable human habitats. Using regional scale data sets, the area of land in each of the five regions that are protected, converted to urban or industrial, impacted, intensive cultivated agriculture, or lands that we consider to have conservation potential. The latter is natural and semi-natural lands that are unprotected, private rangelands, but sustain numerous native species and associated habitats. Chile has the most considerable proportion of its land, 75% in this category. In California, Mexico, the least, 48%. To illustrate the potential for achieving Mediterranean biodiversity conservation on these lands, species area curves generated from ecoregion scale data on native plant species, richness and vertebrate species richness can be employed. For example, if biodiversity could be sustained on even 25% of existing unprotected natural and semi-natural lands, we estimate that the habitat of more than 6,000 species could be represented. The vegetation types usually considered as typically Mediterranean are the evergreen and sclerophyllous, scrublands or heathlands. Named Maquis and Gari in the Mediterranean basin, Chaparral in California, Materol in Chile, Finbos in Southwest Africa, Kwangan and Mali in Southwest Australia. Pure Mediterranean forests are rare and they represent 1.8 of the world's forest area. Pre-forest types can be divided into two categories. Pre-steppic forest types, persistent in southern and eastern Mediterranean, consist of open vegetation structures dominated by non-forest plant species under scattered trees. Non-forest species are steppe-type perennial species that can eventually be replaced by ruderal annual species when grazing occurs. Mediterranean forests, woodlands, and scrub ecoregions are characterized by hot and dry summers while winters tend to be cold and moist. Most precipitation arrives during these months. Rainfall is extremely variable, with mean annual values ranging from 100 to 2000 mm. The lowest values are found at desert margins, especially in North Africa and the Near East. Annual rainfall of parts of Southern California and Central Chile ranges between 250 and 350 mm. Whereas some Mediterranean montane sites of Southwest Africa receive as much as 3000 mm by year. In most places, M is between zero and plus three Celsius. Although extremes can reach plus eight to plus 9 Celsius in desert margins and negative 8 to negative 10 Celsius on the highest mountains. Aridity and temperature play an essential role in the structure and composition of Mediterranean ecosystems. Apart from these distinctive characteristics, MTEs are still collectively harboring 10% of the Earth's plant species. Fenbos is considered as a separate floral kingdom because of 68% of the 8,600 vascular plant species. This is Earthy Perks, signing off on a note that MTEs hold a huge space to carry biodiversity that is helping to maintain the biome.
Till next time, stay tuned and keep watching Earthy Perks.